All right, guys, welcome back to the Zero Excuses podcast. I am super stoked that you are here. My name is Kenyon Zitska, and I have a great episode lined up for you today, and it's titled Five Habits That Will Guarantee That You'll Make Excuses. And this is very personal to me because these are five habits that, that I used to have. These are five things that I used to use to make excuses and that I, by and large, have gotten over. And, you know, it's still, it's still a struggle. I still have to uh, be disciplined with each one of these. But before I get into the bulk of today's discussion, have some real, real quick reminders. First, if you haven't subscribed, rated, or left us a review on iTunes, you can simply go to kenyanzitska.com slash iTunes. It'll take you right to the page where you need to do all that. Second of all, if you haven't joined our free closed Facebook group, you can do that at kenyanzitska.com slash group. It'll take you right to the Facebook group. All you got to do is hit the join button and you'll be all set with that. And if you want to take these topics and really implement them into your life, you need some accountability. You want the tools and the resources to really integrate these things into your life. We have a couple opportunities for you guys to do that. The first is our closed Infinite Results Mastermind Group. You can apply to be a part of that at kenyanziska.com slash results. And if you want that one-on-one accountability, that one-on-one attention to really blow the top off of your results and reach your goals at a very, very fast rate, I have some very limited opportunities to join my discipline coaching program by application only, again, at kenyanzitska.com slash discipline. This is only for those who are looking to really, really invest the time, the resources, and the energy into obtaining those results. This is not for everyone. All right, guys. So let's get back into today's discussion, the five habits that will guarantee that you'll make excuses. And the first one is that you live paycheck to paycheck. I can't think of... There, there's a ton of activities out there that I, I would classify as undisciplined, but if there's one that is that's kind of a pet peeve is living paycheck to paycheck if you're out there and you desire success if you desire to have everything that you want to have in life living paycheck to paycheck is not a way to do it you have to have some sort of budget you have to have some sort of financial discipline about you and for a bulk of a bulk of time in my 20s I was one of those people who just lived paycheck to paycheck I didn't have a budget and luckily, I was actually pretty responsible when it came when it came to that. I didn't overextend myself, but I really, really think I could be so much further ahead than I am right now if I didn't simply live paycheck to paycheck. So the second habit that will guarantee that you'll make excuses is that you're constantly on social media. There's n- no greater cesspool of excuses than social media. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with social media necessary. It's just that we have to be very intentional about what we're doing on social media. We really have to cultivate our Facebook feed, our news feeds, and really be disciplined about the amount of time that we spend on social media. Now, I interact a lot on social media, and I am very intentional about what I do on social media to talk about what I'm passionate about talk about zero excuses, spreading my message, spreading my ideas, and I am very disciplined about that. I don't wander too far off into the weeds, but if you're constantly on social media burning time, watching the latest silly memes or gifs or whatever contraptions they have going on social media without a very definite purpose about what you're on there for, I think that that's going to lead you to a lot of excuses. All right, the third habit is that you barely make it to work on time. So that tells me that you don't care about mastering your time. You don't care about making the most out of your day. That you don't have a set of systems and routines and healthy habits first thing in the morning to set yourself up for success every single day. You're just waking up, throwing on clothes, maybe grabbing a bite to eat, maybe grabbing some coffee and running out the door. Who wants to live like that? You want to have success, right? So if you are 
barely making it to work on time, that tells me that you have some piss poor habits. Which leads me to my fourth habit. You let others dictate your schedule. And now that's not to say that, hey, others don't have input on your schedule, but you give up control to your boss, to your coworkers. You let other people solely dictate what you do day in and day out. And if you ask me, that's going to lead to a miserable work situation, a miserable situation all around your life. But I can hear a few of you guys out there maybe saying, but Kenyon, you know, my, my work situation, that's just how it is. I work in a call center. I can't predict who's going to call, who's not going to call. But where I would suggest that you start with all this is that you start with the first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. The first hour after you wake up and the last hour before you go to bed. I guarantee you if you start there, you will feel a much greater sense of control. Those, in my humble opinion, are the two hours of the day where we have 100% control over what we do or do not do. So start there. Start with the first and last hour of the day. And my last habit that guarantees that you'll make excuses is that you let your fears control you. And I'm not to say, or I'm not trying to say that fear is unhealthy. In fact, I'm trying to say that fear is actually pretty healthy. It's just we can't let it control us. Fear to me is something that is uncomfortable. It's something that is unknown. It's an area where I can go to get outside my comfort zone and grow. But if we let our fears control our, ourselves, we're never going to go to those places and come up with excuses to justify why we won't go there. So that's where I'm going to wrap it up today. Again, guys, if you want to take these discussions further, definitely check out our Facebook group or our mastermind or discipline coaching programs. These are all good places to start to fight these very things that uh, that I talked about today. But uh, like I said, I'm going to leave it there for today and appreciate you guys tuning in and I will talk at you guys again later.